ating programa, pero bago niyan, kasama natin si Mia McLeod of McLeod and Associates. This real estate buzz segment is brought to you by McLeod and Associates, a full service real estate and mortgage firm. It's not about the number of homes we sell, it's about the difference we make in people's lives. Kasama natin dito sa Los Angeles, si Mia McLeod. She is our real estate expert and she's here to tell us some very good news about a listing in Walnut. Yes, but before we get there, birthday should be celebrated. <laughs> so happy birthday to my cup of G. Happy birthday week oh, to you. Oh, thank you so much, Mia, the for The world is better with you in it. Oh, thank so, you so much. Yes, you're welcome. Okay, so let's talk about this listing that in, in Walnut. Yes, uh, near our office, um, a really desirable desirable neighborhood, city, area, really great schools, um, fantastic curb appeal. When you drive up to this house, the curb appeal will really get you. The grounds are amazing, perfect for entertainment. It's on over 15,000 square feet lot size. It's got an extended driveway that goes in. It's a four bedroom, three bath. One of the bedrooms are downstairs and it's being offered for 799,000. Look at that photo, wow, yes. it looks like a mansion. Yes, and you can't even, the, 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 the driveway extends even further out, but I can't even imagine how many great memories this family has had in that backyard because it truly is an entertainment's, uh, entertainer's dream. So um, they're getting t ready to sell because, uh, they, you know, it's too much house now. They're older. Mm -hmm. they're, they're, uh, it's a little too much maintenance for them, and so they're going to downsize, but they've put a lot of love into this house, and they are a great family, so whoever moves in is going to be very lucky. Okay, and let's yes. share that address. Yes, six for all five, of you. five Galloping Colt Circle in Walnut. Um, and if you'd like a private tour, just give our office a call. We could set that up for you. Wonderful. Okay, yes. and you got to see the beautiful photos. And now let's talk about all this great advice that you yes. share with our Kababayans. What's first on the menu today? I think we have five things you must know um, about before you buy, okay. right? This always yes. comes, especially for the millennials and the first time home buyers. Did you know a third of the buyers last year were millennials, the 25 to 34 range? And we're seeing that going into this year as okay. well, right? Already halfway in. So we have a lot of questions coming from them. One of them, if you're renting, um, you can probably buy. A lot of people don't know. If they take what they're renting for um, versus how much loan that could probably get them, they'd be surprised. Yeah. So my recommendation for a lot of folks that are still renting is to go through the pre-approval process it's absolutely free okay so what does that entail Mia? so I you know you could sit down with a loan consult or a loan officer and they can kind of go through the process but if you provide them all the necessary documents that they need um, up front normally they can get you a full pre-approval within 24 to 48 hours right on the spot and that's just good to know like how much house you can afford and yes and what programs are out there because a lot of people think they need to have a huge down payment or the best credit score and even if they're not going to buy a house tomorrow, I mean, it's a good stepping stone at least to strategize and come up with a game plan for a year from now, two years from now. It's never too early to get educated on this subject. Wonderful. Okay. Yeah. And let's move on to the second thing that yes. Mia wants to share with all of you. Um, and I shared this before, but the average net worth of a homeowner versus a renter that a lot of people don't understand is when you get into home ownership, it's not just about the memories created in that home, but it's about uh, creating wealth and being able to pass that on for generations to come. So, um, according to the stats, if you um, make eighty thousand annually on up, net worth of a homeowner is about four hundred and fifty-one thousand versus a renter at about one hundred and twenty-six thousand. That is a big gap. Yes, and if you go down even to thirty thousand to fifty thousand annual income, the average net worth of a homeowner is one hundred twenty-four thousand versus ten thousand. I see. So it's staggering. So I really try to get our community educated on what home ownership really means. Okay. Yes. Moving on to our third one it takes a long time for someone to t save 50 to about 50,000 to 100,000 that's not easy with everything going on today with kids expenses and your car and your medical bills and everything else it's hard to put even 300 500 dollars away mm -hmm. but a lot of our homeowners that got in they now are experiencing 50,000 100,000 200,000 in equity and that's not easy to save 
Yes, so that leads me to number four, which is think of home ownership as another forced form of savings. That's right, right? because you know, you're, you're, if you're gonna pay rent anyway, anyway you mm -hmm. might as well pay into yourself. Yes, absolutely. So that's the whole uh, point behind that. Yeah, hard to save 50 to 100,000, but it also is a forced form of savings. That's right. Home ownership comes. And what happens if I lose my job and can't afford to pay my mortgage? A lot of renters um, always ask us, well, they're too scared to jump in because if they lose their job, they're gonna get kicked out of their house. Well, yeah. just like renting, when you, you don't just get kicked out. Yeah, there's you a have rights. There's rights. So just like a homeowner, if something like that happens, they, the bank can't just come in and kick you out of there. It's a process. Right. So, you know. You'll, you'll be given some lead time yes. to figure things out. Yes. Yeah? And sometimes the banks even have programs if they understand you've got laid off. There are times where they have like a temporary setup that they'll put you on during that time and then put you back once you're in a more stable position. So, Wonderful. Yeah. So, so obviously yes. everything leads up to the fact that it's better to own a home than mm -hmm. rent a mm -hmm. home. Yes, yes, and, and just again, our purpose getting on this show is to just educate our community, empower them, and let them know that there's a trusted source that they can go to when they are ready to take this step. Okay, right? and we want to congratulate uh, some of our families that uh, Mia yes. has helped along these years. Mm -hmm. yes. Let's congratulate them. The Hummel family and the Bill Bell family are success stories for the week. Hummel refinanced. Uh, we consolidated some of their debt, therefore lowering their overall monthly obligation. And at the end, they still got 15000 cash out after, even with a lower mortgage. Um, and with Bill Bell family, um, their first time home buyer. So congratulations. Yay! Yes. Oh, yes. I love so hearing the success stories because yes. really uh, we want to celebrate these families that have taken that step, you know? Yes. It's, it's a big, big deal to own a, a home. It's a big deal. It's a great achievement. It's a huge milestone and we're honored to be a part of it. Wonderful. Okay, yes. so let's share with everybody. As you know, uh, Mia has free consultations. Make sure uh, if you are buying or selling and if you need mortgage reviews, uh, you could do that. Just go to mcleod.smarthomeprice.com so that you can find out the listing of a home. Or the value it, of the, the value. home. Yeah, especially summer months. So mm -hmm. a lot of people are looking to sell. This is prime time for sellers. So uh, mcleod.smarthomeprice.com to give you a value assessment. But another reminder, because our next Eastville Community Workshop is coming up next Saturday, June 25th from 10 to 1. Um, and I, I really encourage the viewers to come this is something we do just to give back to our community, to empower and educate you. We're going to have different topics, um, trust, an attorney talking about trust, how to protect your asset. We're going to have the county tax assessor come out, talk about property taxes and different tax propositions. So come join us. Okay, wonderful. And of course, Mia always says referrals are always welcome. Kaya yes. tumawag na kayo, libre po yan, free consultations at McLeod & Associates. Mia, yes. thank you once again for sharing your afternoon with us. Thank you. All right. Yes. Maraming salamat po. Ayan, oh, di ba? Ang galing magtagalog nito. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> There goes my All right. little in. Yes, maraming salamat po sa pagnood ninyo ng Kababayan Today ngayong hapon na ito. Magkita-kita po tayo bukas here on the only daily talk show for Filipinos in America. Bye!